this haircut, we will be using a six section parting, beginning with the part from the front hairline, just above the middle of each eyebrow, back to the crown area. And then we will just clip that hair in place. Then we are going to establish another part from the crown area where the one section ends to the back of each ear, forming a side section, two and three. And then we will clip those in place. Then we are going to part the hair down the center of the back to form the sections four and five. We're going to take a horizontal part from one ear to another across the nape, about one inch above the hairline. That section is going to be your guideline. Then we are going to clip those two sections up. Now we're going to establish our guideline by the right side of the guide, but in our case we're going to start in the middle. We're going to use a horizontal cutting line parallel to the fingers, and then we're going to start going towards the left side. We're going to cut that the same length as our middle guideline. Now we're going to go towards the right side and cut that using our middle guideline as well. Now we're just going to check it to make sure all sides are even and then we're going to finish cutting the right side. Check one more time. Get any edges that you haven't taken off yet. Now we're going to work upward in the left back section and we're going to measure and part off the first horizontal section approximately one inch wide and clip that section back up. Beginning at the center part, we're going to establish a vertical subsection approximately half an inch wide, extend the subsection out, and then we're going to comb the section out at a 45 degree angle to the scalp and then hold the fingers at a 90 degree angle to the strand and cut. We're just going to do the same thing throughout the whole section. We're going to part off the left, left section and do the same as we did the right. Be sure to check each section vertically and horizontally throughout the haircut. Okay, so here we're going to begin at the center, creating another vertical subsection that extends out and includes the previous cut strands. And we're going to bring the hair out to a 45 degree angle. And then we're going to bring it out at a 90 degree angle and cut at the 90 degree angle. We're going to continue to take those sections to the left and the right section, 
cutting the exact same way throughout the whole section. Bring another section down from the left, continuing with the previous cut here. We also want to make sure that the second section blends evenly with the first section so it's not choppy. Okay, so now we are going to cut the crown. We're going to take a little bit of the left section down. We're going to take this and take a piece of the previous cut hair and bring it out at a 90 degree angle and cut. Make sure the 90 degree is vertical and you're also taking vertical sections throughout the whole haircut. Now we're going to take the right section and do the exact same thing. Taking vertical sections, bringing them out at a 90 degree angle, and then we're going to cut. Make sure you follow your guideline from the previous cut sections. Now we're going to take the left section again, just finishing up that crown, taking vertical sections, bringing them up to a 90 degree angle, and then cutting again. Now we're going to take the, left, the right section, bring it down. the vertical section, bring it at a 90 degree angle and cut. So now we're going to establish a narrow guide section on the left side at the hairline approximately half an inch wide. We're going to cut the side guideline to match the length in the nape. Now moving to the right side, we're going to establish a matching guideline there. 